computer doesn't like her, and so it's being very mean on this problem. So here is our really strange looking um, triangle. And you say it's A is 7, so this is 7, B is 9, and angle C is 100. And so this is, what do they call this? They call this angle B, they call this angle A, and this guy's little C. And we're supposed to find them all. Okay. Any suggestions for where to start? Yeah, which one should I find first? <coughs> C, little C. And why should I find little C first? Well, basically, I'm kind of stuck here. Because in order to be able to find something using the law of sides, I need an angle and the side opposite it. So I don't have any of that yet. So I want to start with the law of cosines. I can use, since I have the two sides and the angle in between them, I can use that to find the third side. And then everything else can be done with the law of sines because I will have an angle and the side opposite it. So C squared is going to be 9 squared plus 7 squared minus 2 times 9 times 7 times the cosine of 100 degrees. So let's see what that is. 9 squared plus 7 squared plus 2 times 9 times 7 times the cosine of 100. So this gives me that C squared is equal to 1.8796704. So C is going to be equal to plus or minus the square root of 151.8796704. Or which one will it be? Right, length is positive. So since length is positive, You should be in degrees because this was in degrees. Yeah, so it's not the computer at all. So C is approximately 12.32394703. Now I would like to recommend something. Let's back to vouch for this. Do not round this when you get ready to use it again. Store it in your calculator or use it as you know, the answer because even a little bit of rounding can mean you're off by enough to make your angle off by like a degree. And a degree is enough for it to go, I'm sorry, your answer is wrong on the angles. All right, now we've got to find the angles. Which one do you want to find first? Just pick one. A? Okay. So for our angles, we have sine of A over the side opposite A is 7. And that's equal to the sine of 100 over the number that we just found, 12.32394703. So if we just multiply both sides, do you want to cross multiply? Is that what you guys do there? Okay. So 12 point and all this stuff times the sine of A is equal to 7 times the sine of 100. And when I divide, I'll get the sine of A is equal to 7 sine of 100 divided by 12 point da, 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 all that stuff. That's not A though, is it? No, it's not. What do I need to do to get A? Inverse sine. So A is going to be the inverse sine of 7 times the sine of 100 divided by 12 point and all that stuff. All right, so let's see what that's going to give me. The inverse sine of 7 is the sine of 100 divided by that number. So this tells me that A is 34.01228522 degrees. So how do I find B? Yeah, probably need two ways to add the two angles and then 
subtract from 180, so I would do plus 100 for that angle and subtract it from 180. So I'm going to have 180 minus 100 minus angle A, which I'm not going to bother to write all down, to get angle B. And angle B is approximately 45.987714. Now you don't really need all those decimals in your answer, but you do need all those decimals in the calculation because it can be enough to mess it up.